Welcome to the Burger Experience. My name's Austin. This is the Battle of the ECBPs Finals. Here we are. We've made it to the end of my Battle of the ECBPs tournament. I'm gonna put up the bracket right now that will show you where we are at. While that's up, you'll see the finals is consisted of B519, C920, and the Batch 12 Pirate Bottle 136 proof. I was pretty shocked at the end of the semifinals. I did not expect A117 to lose out to B519, and I did not expect at all that B518 would lose out to C920. Um, after I was done recording, I went back and I went through the lineup again, not blind, and the results were actually confirmed. So what came through in the blind is as shocking as it was last week. That's, uh, that's what it was and was confirmed after the fact. Before I go any further, I want to take a moment and give a huge shout out and thanks to all of my guests that appeared during the first round of this. So big shout out and thank you to Joe. Kirk, Brian, Kev, and Billy. Uh, you guys made this tournament really fun and a lot more interesting if, than if I were just going through each one of these by myself. So thank you for that. Also, I'm doing a sample giveaway of the final three as well as the semifinals. So stick around to the end of the results portion of this video to learn what to do to get entered into a chance to win that. And that's gonna be B519, B518, C920, A117, and 136 Pirate Bottle. So stick around to the results to see how to win a sample of each of those. Also, this is gonna be concluding my uh, Bourbon Heritage Month September series. So if you're watching my Monday videos, there's my Old Forester themed bourbon heritage month run on mondays and then this is going to include my ecbps so after this month we'll be going into um, just normal stuff again also one last thing before i get into this if you please tell me is this something you like this kind of format this uh sticking with one one line for a long time i'm considering doing this with maybe stags or something else but i don't necessarily want to do that if uh if it's not worth it because it cuts into my normal recording time. So when I'm recording these ahead of time and trying to get them all lined out, um, it means that I'm probably going to miss regular upload days because I'm just not, I don't have the time to record in advance of these as well as do normal stuff. So um, let me know if this is something that's actually worth doing again in the future. Like I said, maybe stags because it is um, very time and um, effort intensive. Okay, all that stuff's out of the way. Let me get into this. So I have A, B, and C here. I don't know which any of them are. Um, I'm a little bit nervous because, well, last week just was not what I was expecting. Okay, A has a butterscotchy maple sweetness to it on the nose there's like the faintest slightest bit of peanut in there too um, fairly dark not like peanut brittle lightness um, that that peanut is, is very very faint in there but yeah a little bit of the nuttiness maple syrup butterscotch it knows is good Hey, that drink's great. Um, the peanut is a little bit more prevalent than I remember any of these being from last week or, you know, the week before. Yeah, there's even like a little bit of a chocolate mid to late finish on it, which is nice. A is really good. Um, I have a feeling it's probably not going to do so well against the others. And that's just, I don't know, it's a... Uh, I feel like maybe if I would have done the semifinals today, things would have been different. Cause that's not 
completely blowing me away right now. It's very good. And granted, it is the first pour. So I'm going to run through both of them a couple times each way to verify my results. But <clears throat> yeah, right now I'm a little bit surprised that that's in the finals. <sighs> Okay, I'd say right off the rip, better than A. It's darker on the nose. It's oakier on the nose. A little bit more funk on the nose. A little bit of chocolate. It's syrupy. It's rich. It's viscous. Um, the oak, the chocolate's there. That's really good. I mean, it's a clear, clearly ahead of A. Well, we'll see. Okay. This one knows is a little bit closer to A minus the peanut thing. It's very dark. It's very rich. It smells syrupy, viscous, thick. Um, <clears throat> Interesting. Interesting. The peanut thing is on there a little bit, um, but I think I might like it more than A. I'm not trying to guess or figure anything out right now. Um, the Pirate 136, I have blinded so many times against other pirates and stuff. Um, so even, I can honestly say right now, maybe it's just, I mean, these are the first pours of the day. Um, I wasn't even necessarily thinking that I was going to be doing the finals today. I just had a little bit of slot time open and this is what made sense to film. So <clears throat> maybe I'm just having an off something because I've had the 136 so many times. And uh, if you gave me any of these right now with me not knowing that this was the finals, I probably wouldn't be able to pick that out. Yeah, he's got this peanut thing. It's syrupy. It's sweet. It's like very, very faint, but it's there. Oh yeah. <laughs> See, immediately better. Uh, darker, richer, chocolate, just great. Okay, <clears throat> B is the clear winner. It's just, it's getting so much more complex as I'm going through this and the other ones. Chocolate, funky oak, richness, Rich, round, full. I think I probably know what it is. Yeah, it's just so A and C literally could just be different batches from the same year of each other. Ooh, you got good, really good that time. Um, but A and C could be from the same batch. B is something different. It just is. Yeah. Just this chocolate, maple, like spice, cayenne pepper on the finish of C really brings it up. There's, it's just, yeah, A and C are both great. They're very close to each other, but uh, C is the, the definitive number two. Against, yes, the clear winner, which is B. So, drum roll. In third place, which is no sad place to be in this entire bracket that I've done, is red, which is my darling bottle, B519. I don't know. That makes sense. I was B519 fan forever. I mean, I've got a bunch of backups. I've gone through a bunch of them. It's just a really great batch. And it, I was slow to warm up on the C920. And then once uh, once Kev got me onto it and I did it blind and it kept showing up in like first or second over and over again, it's like, man, there really is something to C920. And um, it is quickly, I understand why people like it so much and it's quickly becoming one of my favorites too. So in second place, sure enough, C920. And the difference in proof between the um, C920 and the B519 is, yeah, B519 is 122.2. And C920 is 132.8, 66 and 61. So it's, it's about 5%, maybe a little bit more than that. Um, 
more and that definitely comes through. So that really presented itself in the finish of C920. Um, this like cayenne pepper and like some baking spice and just it was more dynamic. And I think that 5% proof or alcohol ABV difference like really is where that showed up because they both were surprised how close they are. Um, they're very close to each other, which means my all time favorite Elijah Craig barrel proof is going to be batch 12, the pirate bottle, 136 proof. Um, it's just, it's built different. I don't know what else to say than everything else that's come after it. Um, A117, I thought was pretty close to it. And then B519 clearly beat it out, but uh, they just, yeah, the pirate, I think this really does kind of demonstrate how great the pirate bottles are. These two were close. And then this was just, it, it was a, in a league of its own. Um, yeah, that's, and I think if I would have put any of my other pirate bottles and let them go all the way through, I think one, two, and three would have been pirate bottles. So I wanted to eliminate that, um, batch 10, 138.8 is you could swap that for this one, the 136, um, uh, cause I go back and forth on them. They're both fantastic. They both whichever one would have advanced would have been this um taking this number one spot i believe but there you have it thank you if you've been sticking around with me for this series i i really appreciate it it's been it's been a blast and i just i do need to know if it's worth doing something like this with stags or um any other lineups that maybe you guys can suggest um to get entered into the sample giveaway like I said, it's going to be A117, B518, C920, B519, and Pirate Bottle. To get entered into a chance to win a sample of this, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Um, I'm really trying to grow it. That's, that's what helps it. Like this video and comment uh comment tell me what your favorite elijah craig barrel proof batches um the winner will be selected whatever sunday is comes out after this um video that sunday at noon is when the winner will be selected i need to be able to find you on facebook which is what i've done for most of my sample giveaways or you need to respond to my comments um when i when i announce who the winner is so you have to check to see if I respond to your comment saying that you won because uh, I'm having trouble. I, I've been able to, luckily so far, I've been able to track down every single person and get them their samples. There's one person that I believe I've located, uh, but they're not responding to my announcement and they're not responding to my Facebook message because I think I found them there too. So um, if you want to win this, like this video, subscribe to the channel, tell me your favorite ECBP is, and then check this around noon, somewhere around that time on Sunday. Um, and then if, uh, if, if I can find you on Facebook, I'll, I'll try and do that too. So there we have it. Thanks again. This has been an absolute blast. I just, I love Elijah Craig Barrel Proof so much. Um, just one final thought, maybe like bookers. Uh, if you saw my video with Brian, he has all of the bookers and I'm not a bookers fan. So maybe I could do a tournament of bookers for the non bookers fan. Um, that could be cool too. I don't know. Let me know. I'll see you guys here soon. Um, thank you very much. And as always, the bourbon experience is all about good pours and great times with whoever you're with. It's meant to be enjoyed. So crack those bottles. Cheers.